Hello chess friends, I'm thrilled to share an exciting chess match that took place between Alpha Zero and myself, today I present you with a chess puzzle from this video, try to solve it, leave your answers in the comments and I'll be sure to provide you the solution. A healthy man wants a thousand things, a sick man only wants one, I started the game with knight f3, we have d5 g3, constructing to build king's Indian attack, Alpha played new move, knight d7, it aims to resemble queen's gambit, so after d4 alpha played amazing b5 move, his moves are starting to resemble a monkey's dance, a bit like Levi Rosman, complete with some impromptu singing, ok I go with knight c3 to target the center pawns, c6 bishop g2 and alpha played another crazy move f5. Your brain might think that black has created some weakness on this square, yes this is a long term strategic weakness but black can maintain it very well. If he successfully advances his pieces, his f5 move will make a significant difference to the evaluation bar, here best move for white is to be, knight g5, punishing the black pawn structure if he advanced too early in the game, I mean after knight takes pawn. Takes takes white will create a checkmating threat and threatening to win the rook at the same time, for this reason black can play many varieties of moves but most of the moves are wrong, if your opponent plays knight f6 then he will fall in trap, Queen b6 a4, captured castle a5 knight takes pawn, queen backs bishop f4, threatening knight c7 fork and how do you protect it, so back to the position, if your opponent Levi Rosman plays h6, then he gets checkmate immediately after knight e6 e4, takes queen h5 check. An intelligent person is not the one who knows a lot, but the one who knows himself, but in our actual game, I thought myself that my opponent isn't a 69 IQ human like Manus or Levy, Hikaru or a 100 ELO rated player like you, my opponent is Alpha Zero himself so I played with more carefully, castle knight f6 and after couple of moves later we have queen b6, look at the pawn structure, the black bishop enjoys mobility in this stone wall formation, the light bishop is quite paralyzed. So after knight d2 bishop d6 a4 we have castle, the moves are going on, the queen have no better square there so alpha played queen a6, c3 rook e1 knight g5 are the further moves. Seek wisdom, not knowledge, knowledge is of the past, wisdom is of the future, so c3 c5 b4 and we have first pawn exchanges on b4, queen goes to b3 and you shouldn't capture the a pawn because queen a2 will create a battery to generate thunderbolt on your a file, so bishop b6 knight g5, targeting to the pawn, Playing knight b8 isn't the best move because the move rook to c1 appears to challenge the logic behind your piece arrangement in this position. So after rook e8, I am played my crazy brilliant move knight takes pawn, rook takes e6 bishop takes d5, bishop takes d6 was necessary to attack both of the diagonals take take. Both of the rooks are under attack, the bishop is also feeling uncomfortable there, so what should you do now? Rook c1 will widely attack on this file, Knight f4 is the future strategic plan to destroy your black position completely. Life is really simple, but we insist on making it complicated, king f7 isn't the worth choice to protect the rook as white can win the rook on a8 and create some source of problems in the pieces combination, so if you dare to play bishop f8 then after queen takes rook, you may play h6 to create a breathing room for the king, d5 rook to e8 queen c6, before knight goes to d4, g5 and after some moves later, black will face a major problem in the queen side. As white develop his pieces position move by move black's 7th rank will be in a terrible condition, in a few moves challenge, the passed pawn on 7th rank will be a monster, white will win the game completely, so chess friends, if you want to play like stockfish then just comment and subscribe the channel, so in this position, black is facing a major issue in his 8th rank, the rook is threatening to go c1 to target the bishop. So bishop b7 queen to d8 knight f6 queen c7 and after some moves later we have rook to c2, targeting to the knight on e2. You have power over your mind, not outside events, realize this and you will find strength, so we have rook e1, before to add pressure to the knight, but I play d5, sacking the knight, because after takes, takes takes, queen e6 check, king run away queen f7, targeting both of the bishops, bishop c5 queen takes bishop, queen check is a threat but look at the king position, he can be protected by the knight, so after queen c8 check knight blocks d6, the pawn is unstoppable and you will lose the game completely. 
So back to the position, we have bishop takes d5, bishop g5, targeting to the knight, and the bishop, so bishop c4 to target the knight with three pieces, bishop takes f6 and if you dare to capture it with pawn, then your king position will be totally weak, queen takes f5 rook takes e2, queen g4 check, attacking to the bishop and the rook at the same time, king backs rook c1, bishop here to target it, and after two moves we will get the e8 square for the queen, queen to d6 then play rook c6. Don't be afraid of bishop d7, because after takes takes, one of the black bishop is going to die. The highest activity a human being can attain is learning for understanding, because to understand is to be free. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.